Environment dictates performance. Environment dictates performance. Now, this is an idea that you've probably heard in a hundred different ways. I first heard it from the legend that is Daniel Priestley, and it really got me to thinking today as Freya and I traversed a good quarter of a mile of rocks and boulders and had a whale of a time doing it, like my whole upper body's had a workout. And yet, here's the thing, right? Yes, Freya and I are blessed. We have this incredible, like, natural space on our doorstep. And yet, if we choose not to use it, this aspect of our environment is utterly useless. To someone who chooses not to engage with their environment in the way that Freya and I did, then their performance is going to be stymied, okay? So, why am I sharing this? Because, yes, it matters who you hang out with. Yes, it matters the books you read, all of this sort of stuff. But ultimately, how are you also using what is available to you? Are you sitting on an absolute gold mine, unaware that all you need is a pickaxe to get the gold? Do you have some kind of natural space that would be incredible if you looked at it in a different way? Do you have a business opportunity, a relationship situation that if you chose to engage with it in a different way, right? So I can engage with this environment like this. I can engage with it standing up. Or I can engage with it with a friend, right? All of these are ways to engage with my environment through choice. And all of those are gonna create different results for me and for those I love. So I guess my question is, knowing that environment dictates performance, how can you change how you view your environment? How can you change what you do in your environment to change the performance you experience? All right.